Well, speaking of top Bison athletes, our big guest this week just finished up a fantastic college career at North Dakota State University. Derek Tusco was the Defensive Player of the Year last year in the Missouri Valley Football Conference. Uh, he was taken in the NFL Draft this past spring by the Denver Broncos, and we tracked him down this week. Derek, how are you, and where are you at this time? I'm doing great. Uh, currently out in Denver. Uh, came out here about a month ago. Kind of when, uh, when everything started opening up again, uh, got in with uh, the same crew at Landau Performance, Coach Augie and, and his staff, uh, the, the same facility that I was at leading up to the Combine. So back out with them uh, and, and just getting ready for, for the season to start whenever that may be. All right, so do you have rookie training camp coming up in July or what kind of schedule is coming up for you? Yeah, so as of right now, uh, I'm, I'm just working out with, with the crew there. Uh, there's a handful of Broncos guys, uh, older guys that are, are training there. Um, so we're getting our workouts are running and lifting in. Uh, and then all, all of our meetings are done online right now. We, there's been talk that probably towards the end of July is when we'll bring in uh, rookies to do kind of a, a short rookie camp. And then that's will come in about a week after that towards the end of July. But uh, it, it's not in pen yet, so nothing's set in stone. So uh, a lot of play by, playing by ear, uh, but that's kind of what we're, we're looking at is towards the end of July we'll be getting into the facilities. So give us a little bit on your background. Were you born in the Twin Cities and then moved to South Dakota when you were a kid? Yeah, so I was born in Edina, uh, just a suburb of the cities, Twin Cities there. And then uh, I was really young, I think about – two or so uh, moved to Warner. So uh, I don't know anything other than Warner, South Dakota, uh, but grew up in, the, in that small town there and uh, played multiple sports and then made my way up to Fargo, North Dakota. All right, so you ended up playing defensive end at North Dakota State, but I think you played everything except defensive end when you were in high school at Warner, right? Yeah, that, that's kind of what the territory that goes along with nine-man football is – uh, you're able to play all over. So uh, it, it was a lot of fun growing up, just being able to play multiple positions. Uh, got to North Dakota, played defensive end, and then uh, now I'm playing outside linebacker. So uh, pretty similar, uh, but a little bit of a transition. Uh, but it, it's been going great, and I'm excited for the season to start and actually get, get pads on again. So you and your brother, Jared, played high school football together at Warner. Jared went on before you to play at North Dakota State, so he was obviously a factor, but what else got you to North Dakota State? Their winning culture, uh, just there was something about North Dakota State that was different from every other school that I was looking at. Uh, I mean, a Division I program that was winning national, champion, national championships year after year, uh, that, that was going to be a hard, hard – uh, team to, to pass up so that was definitely one of the big factors was was just their their winning program uh, another one is, is coach Kramer the strength conditioning coach there uh, just hearing what he did in the weight room uh, and, and getting guys prepared on the field I, I felt like that would be huge for me developmentally uh, and that was another huge factor and it's crazy you hear a lot from a lot of that from guys like yourself, how the strength coach is such a big influence. I truly think that they're the most important uh, part of the staff yeah. just because you spend more time with, with your strength coach than you do with any, any position coach or anything like that because you're, you're with them uh, pretty much all year round. Right, Denver has some great outside linebackers right now, Von Miller and Bradley Chubb. It's got to be awesome to be in the same room and get to learn from them uh, right now. But you got to be kind of cool about doing it, right? Exactly. Yeah, you got you to gotta pinch yourself and, and make sure it's real. But then you can't, you can't get, get all starstruck and stuff and now, that, now that I'm here. So. <laughs> all right, you were academic all Missouri Valley for five years at North Dakota State and then got your degree in what? Crop and weed science. Okay. Uh, so it, it's agronomy. Everybody hears that, and the first thing they, they think of is, oh, my gosh, he, he studied in, in weed sciences. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> it's, it's not what everybody thinks or expects. It's, it's a lot different. So uh, it definitely, that interest came from, from growing up on a farm, uh, wanting to eventually maybe one day go back and do all the agronomy work, all the crop scouting for, for the farm. So. 
All right, thanks a lot, Derek. Hope the next few months go well for you. Looking forward to seeing you out there with the Broncos coming up this fall. Yeah, I appreciate it. Stay safe.